What is up, Ravens Flop? Huge shout out for your support for the 410 Sports Talk. Chance and Glenn are the best in the business. They're killing it right now. They love talking Raven talk. Make sure you go subscribe to their channel. Let's go, Ravens. Big trust. Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of 410 Sports Talk. I'm James Haskell, along with my co host, Glenn Martin. And we are here to talk about the old school coin flip, baby. Heads or tails? Call it in the air, Glenn. Tails never fails. It's heads, dude. Sorry. The Ravens are playing uh, at MT Bank Stadium against the Bengals. As you guys probably know, the uh, the NFL has come to a determination as to how the AFC playoffs will be affected uh, due to the DeMar Hamlin uh, situation and 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 the game cancellation between the Bills and the and the Bengals. And that's really what we're here to talk about in the context of the Ravens. Yeah. Uh, so Glenn, talk to me about kind of what the determination was by the NFL, and then we'll get into what the scenarios are and and what it means. Yeah, quite interesting. Uh, you know the decision they came up with because it, it didn't necessarily follow the handbook that they had themselves. So they you know they they kind of took some liberty. The commissioner took a little bit of liberty of of how to resolve this situation. And I'll give it give them credit. It, it's certainly creative. But so this is how it's going to work out. If the Ravens defeat the Bengals. This week, the Ravens would have defeated the Bengals twice, a divisional opponent twice, but not be able to host a playoff game because Cincinnati will have a higher winning percentage in a 16-game schedule than the Ravens will in a 17-game schedule. So, therefore, the Ravens have no chance to win the AFC North. The, right. the Bengals have the North. However, if Baltimore does win tomorrow – and the two clubs are scheduled to play a wild card game against one another, then the site for that game will be determined by the old coin toss, That's Jimbo. Right. So if Cincinnati wins in week 18, or if Baltimore and Cincinnati are not scheduled to play each other in the wild card round, then this game sites will be determined, you know, by the you know the regular scheduling the procedures. But like so it really only matters if it what has to happen for this coin flip, Jimbo, because I think we're all rooting for the coin flip now, obviously, uh, because we're Ravens fans, but also just to see kind of the chaos of, of this um, is, is, is going to be interesting to watch. But the, the way this happens is the Ravens have to beat the Bengals tomorrow and the Chargers have to beat uh, the, the, the Denver Broncos in the very following time slot in the four o'clock time slot game. Yeah. Because if, if, if the Chargers lose to the uh, to the Broncos, then the Ravens will then move into the five spot and be scheduled to take on the four seed and not the three seed, which will be uh, the Cincinnati Bengals since they've already been awarded the AFC North. So it, it's unprecedented and it's odd because Cincinnati, I, I don't recall unless you're going way back, but much before I was a, a sports fan, a division winner may have to go on the road in the mm -hmm. opening round of the playoffs and a wild card team in the Ravens have a, a, an opportunity to host an opening week playoff matchup in M&T Bank State. I know I'm personally excited to Jimbo because we had the, we, you know, we purchased pre-purchased our playoff tickets and we're yep. hopeful and we're excited that, that there's a game. It didn't look like that was, you know, the chances of that happening were certainly dwindling. Yeah. But now there's some light Jimbo. Yeah, there, there is some light. But the only thing I'll, I'll say, Glenn, obviously we want to go to the game, but one of the things you mentioned, we're hoping for the coin toss. Uh, however, there is another scenario, like you said, if we win mm -hmm. and and the Broncos win, it still wouldn't go to the coin toss because that means that we would we would move up and then we'd play the, the, the division winner of the AFC South. You're right, which right? is happening w any moment. Yeah, wouldn't you prefer... That the Ravens. So I guess my question is: That's Would you prefer that they're at home against the Bengals? We'll say the Jags win. They're probably the better team right now, aren't the well, Titans can, starting Dobbs? They're starting Dobbs, and you know they're they're beat up. Although I'll say this: Derrick Henry's back, uh, but they're yeah. certainly nose diving at the wrong time. Yeah. So wouldn't would you rather play the Jags away, or would you rather? Or either team, Jags, Tennessee. Would you rather go on the road to play one of those two or play the Bengals at home? That's really the question. Oh, absolutely. I'd rather take on either of the teams from the South. I mean, like I said, Tennessee is is just nosediving right now. Mm -hmm. They have a, a run game when Derrick Henry's in there. But, 
I'll take my chances t- taking on Josh Dobbs in the playoffs. No doubt. Oh, I'd sure. love to go to Tennessee, reignite that rivalry that, that still burns pretty hot when these two fan bases, uh, you know, get intertwined. I, I, I think absolutely I'd love to take them on. And then, sure, let's go take on a, a Jacksonville Jaguar team who the Ravens already had a double-digit lead on and uh, that they did give up, but they still had that double-digit lead and were, and were relatively dominant through four, or through, through three quarters. And also, it's going to be beautiful. Jacksonville, mm-hmm. it's going to be warm. I'm assuming Lamar's knee might feel a little bit better in the warm weather than, than in the cold uh, Baltimore wind. Uh, I, I think I think he might be better off. You're right, Jimbo is st- saying it, uh, going on the road, but instead going you know, to one of those, those Southern teams. But something that's important to remember, I'm saying this more for myself than all of you that are listening because I have a hard time remembering these things. Either way, we need the Ravens to win for either of those things to happen, for us to get home, or for us to get to the coin flip, or for us to play the winner of the AFC South. I mean, I think the chances of the Broncos beating the Chargers is slight, but the Chargers are still the Chargers, and they know how to lay an egg pretty much better than anyone but the Cleveland Browns, right? And also, Jimbo, let's not forget... Last week, Jerry Rossberg took over yep. the helm of Denver. And, and they only lost by three, right, to the they Chiefs. Only, they only lost to a motivated Chiefs team. Like, Chiefs still fighting for that number one seed, which they locked up tonight. Uh, but they looked like a completely different Denver team under the uh, you know the, the, uh, the direction of Jerry Rossberg. Yeah, 100%. So, at the end of the day, we don't know what's going to happen there. We got, obviously, root for the Broncos. All that being said, Baltimore Ravens need to win uh, to to make this thing happen, Glenn. They, they need to win to get there. Um, and really what it comes down to is how John Harbaugh is going to play this. It's, I mean, he can play it straight up and just, look, you go out there, you play your best guys, you try and win the game. Or, you know, based on some roster, it, was, it looks like he might, depending on how the game goes, might be pretty quickly to, to kind of pull the reins back and say, all right, look, we got to prep for next week. We don't want, we don't want any, uh, you know, opportunity for injury. So how do you, you know, handle you that, Jimbo? I got... Like, even as on the Bengals' side, if you're looking at it from their side, how do you handle this game that suddenly has importance, Yeah, but chances are you're going to face that same team in the first round the very following week? So it's like this this game of what do we show them now that we don't want to yeah. you know, tip off for next week? What Who do we play this week when we know next week's the more the, – really the more important – I mean, how do both teams play this? Yeah, you think John Harbaugh's calling up uh, Jerry? Over in in Denver, and like, do me don't. a solid, man. Yeah, just just get, just phone this one in, will you? You think so? Like, like, well, if he phones it in, everything else stays the same. It it and it there's does. no guessing because at the end of the day, you're playing the Bengals, no matter where it is. You know it's the Bengals. But the one thing, Jerry, this game will be done before the Broncos take right, the right, field. right. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, so right after the game, John's gonna call him <laughs> up and tell him what to do. Look, win or lose. He'll be on the sideline like, hold on. He just opens a flip phone. Yeah. Yeah, John. He pulls uh, out of a suitcase, yeah. Well, they have to bring Hackett back if they want to blow the game. Just yeah, bring there Nathaniel you go. Hackett back. He'll take it, care of the rest. It's so interesting, though. I'll tell you what, though, Glenn. I would rather sacrifice a home playoff game and go on the road, uh, but it will be exciting to so see. So you're scared of the Bengals? No, I just <laughs> – no, I'm scared of the Bengals. And you know what? Let's talk about that, Glenn. Actually, let's change gears because yeah. you had. You, it sounds like the Bengals are up in arms, and they're they are. They're, they yeah, are. Tell, let me tell lay, me why let they're me up in arms. Why. Okay, here's why they're up in arms. They look at it like they're being penalized on the what if they would have lost, but not rewarded in any way of the what if they could have won mm-hmm. in a game in which they were leading, albeit in the first quarter by four points. They were leading it, and then also. By bestowing upon them the North, but not giving them a home playoff game, you're also giving them a first place schedule next season and not giving them the reward of earning that North by giving them, you know, it's not just when you get a home playoff, it's not just the competitive advantage on the field. It's also what it brings to your city, what it brings to the surrounding businesses. I think they're 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 upset because they're gonna be playing the competitive toughness schedule wise next year of an AFC North winner without being guaranteed the benefits uh, financially and competitively on the field. Now, let me make something clear really quickly. If they win this game, no coin flip home field. All right. So if that's the case, I'm just making sure in my head, that's the case then simply win the football game and quit your whining. You sound like an insecure 
<laughs> loser. Like you just do. I'm sorry. Like, dude, you walk around with your colorful suits, your wide receivers all off season, go on every single podcast on the face of the planet and argue about who's better than them. Dude, just win the football game. You should look. It's like Glenn. they're, they're racing. They're, 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 it's a show pony against a thoroughbred here. We got a backup quarterback, a backup backup potentially with, you know, an undrafted rookie, potentially. We don't even know if Tyler's starting in this game. There's and a reason they elevated Hundley. And you're whining about it. Get over it. Just win the football game, and it's all a moot point. Like, I don't, I, I just don't get it. You're being penalized. All right, you're being penalized, but you also are playing a limping, at least that quarterback, a limping Ravens team at home. Like, you should be able to take care of business. If you're the AFC North champs, take care of business. Now they say, well, it, had we had the opportunity to finish the game and beat the Bills, we could have rested Gotten the one seed or something. Well, they then they would have the. I think the Chiefs winning tonight seals that for but them. They, but, but they would have had they, the opportunity to rest their players. Their if they won players. these last two, though, they would have had the one seed. That I would be upset about because they beat the Chiefs. Yeah, but the Chiefs got to fourteen wins. Oh, the Bengals I see had no avenue. Right. They'd only there. get twelve. There, they'd only get thirteen wins if they right. would have won the Bills game and then yeah. win this game. Right, right. Good point. So they're all, but so I see why because they would have said, well, had we won that game, then this Ravens game this weekend means nothing. We can mm -hmm. play all. We can we can bench all our primary starters. We can mm -hmm. play a the most vanilla. We can treat it as a a, a preseason game. Play a vanilla mm -hmm. game plan. Show nothing because the game mm -hmm. means nothing. Mm -hmm. Then we can unload upon them the very following week when we're guaranteed our home playoff game, and make quick work of a like you said beat up Ravens team. Yeah. Well, um, didn't didn't uh, I mean, why didn't you beat up? Why didn't you beat the Ravens early in the season and earn that right? There's losses that they took. I think they took some rough losses early on too, didn't they? A lot of people were hopping yeah. off the. Yeah, on, I think they were one and three to start. Yeah, so you can say what if for as long as you want to. Like, how far are we going to go back here? What if they didn't draft Joe Burrow? What well, if they I, didn't hire Zach Taylor? Like, you know what I mean? What if they would have fired Zach Taylor after his last right? Train At the end of the, of the day, season. you could you could say that about anything. Well, but let me to ask me, you this, to your point, Jimbo. They could have also lost to the Bills, and then right. They could have lost the AFC North this weekend, and they've right. at least and now they've just been that given the right. They've just been handed it. You're being handed something, and you sound like an entitled child to me. Yeah, I mean, they could have lost the North. They at least didn't have the opportunity to lose the North. Yeah, you know what it makes me think of. Can I just tell you something really funny? Uh, there's a government bailout going on right in in uh, Parks and Rec. Okay, it was a small government bailout of a video store. All right. And all of a sudden, people Parks get wind the of the television show. You're the right. television show. It's okay. all fictional. Gotcha. But they're doing, holding a town hall meeting to argue about this. A guy gets up and says, and he's he's the chairman of the libertarian uh, libertarian uh, political party. party. Not liberals, right? But like libertarian, I don't believe in the government, blah, blah, blah right? So he gets up there uh, and he's like, no one helped me. I had to pull myself up by my bootstraps. And then he goes, I've been on, I've been on unemployment for 28 years or something like that. <laughs> no one's helped me out. And it's like, Wait a second, you were just handed something and you're mm -hmm. asking for more. Like, okay, dude, you were just given the AFC North. All you need to do is beat the Ravens. That's it. A, a pretty, a pretty um, I mean, it's it, it, I can't say they're they're extremely beat up, but they're beat up at a pretty key spot, and that's your quarterback. Yeah, um, man. So yeah, I mean, I I but look, if I was a Bengals fan, would I be upset? I mean, yeah. Um, uh, if I was uh, as passionate about the Bengals as I am about the Ravens, I, I, I may have a different look. I, I, you know, firmly admit that my uh, my Ravens fans gives me, you know, fandom gives me some bias in this, and I, and I may, I may have been upset if I was a Bengals fan. But like Jimmy said, if the Bengals go take care of business, then this yeah. is all for nothing. But like, think about this, Glenn. In nineteen, in two thousand nineteen. Yeah, if we were in this situation, all we had to do was win the last game of the season against I don't know Bengals, Bears, or uh, excuse me, Pittsburgh. Browns, Pittsburgh. Would you really be like? Would you really be nervous? You'd be like, no, we're gonna we beat Pittsburgh with our backups. Yeah, we're gonna ramrod these guys. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, I just don't understand yeah. the complaining about it. But I can maybe they're nervous because the first matchup, Jimbo, the Ravens won that game. Yeah, uh, I mean and they the should, Ravens I think, but they are feeling their oats so. Mm -hmm. And the Ravens were not the healthiest team in that game either. They still didn't have Ronnie Stanley. They didn't have Roquan Smith in that matchup. So it's right. like Marcus uh, maybe, Williams. 
Yeah, maybe they're nerve. Maybe they're a little nervous about a potential matchup, especially if that matchup takes place in Baltimore. Uh, but it's exciting, man. The fact that look, either either way, if we're going, I'm gonna be excited either way. But I would say my my preference, if I had to put them in order, would be let's go to Tennessee because mm-hmm. I think they're the the the, mo- the the weakest team that could possibly make the AFC. Then go to Jacksonville. Then host Cincy, then go to Cincy is my my order in which you know I would hope for this to fall out. But let me tell you, if we're hosting a playoff game against the Bengals, Jimbo, I'm not going to have a voice the next day. Oh, not a chance. I'm taking off work. I'm yes, hundred percent. I'm going to be yeah. so hyped. So while I yes, I admit I'd rather them take you know the, the perceived easier route and go in, on the road to take on a Jags team or the or the Titans. Right. I I, I would still be. Like, would you look going to that game going, we have no chance? How? Yeah. No, absolutely not. Especially Lamar's right. coming back. I feel good about that game. Last question here. We'll wrap it up with this. How much money is the NFL going to try and make off the coin flip? They're going to flip. They're going to do it on TV. Dude, it's going to be like the LeBron decision when he went to Miami. Right. They're going right? to gonna have everyone just in the in Bristol, Connecticut, all converge on the ESPN headquarters to just flip a coin. dude. Oh, it's going to be epic. Yeah. They'll do it in slow motion, show different angles, give it an out. Like, Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely crazy. But, look, at the end of the day, if the Bengals, like we said, take care of business, none of this happens. So let us know what your guys' thoughts are. Leave all your comments below. Should the Bengals be complaining about it? What scenario do you pref- do you prefer for the Ravens? Uh, leave all your comments below, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Yesterday does not matter. You're looking forward to today. I'm looking forward to being a Raven. What are they getting? Everything out of me. They're going to get a Super Bowl out of me. Believe that.